Hello and welcome, this is Richard Huntley here back with a brand new video answering your health, fitness, diet and fat loss questions of the day. Now the topic of today we're going to be looking at the three day diet. Is it a good or bad idea? And I will be answering that question today and giving my own experience, opinion on this and uh, whether it could be right for you or not. Well, I'll give you some suggestions for either way. Now before we get started, you can pick up my 7 day fat loss formula plan which is free by clicking on the link here in the video, especially if you're new to my videos here. If you're already a subscriber of mine on my YouTube channel, you should have already picked up that uh, fat loss plan because it's helping people all over the globe and you can download it for free to set you up for the next seven days so here's my take on this three-day diet or any sort of real diet here's the big problem and the big problem is with these diets is the rebound weight gain because people drop the pounds you know they can do liquid diets and you know there's how many diets there's out there now you've only got to just go into your uh, local book store and you'll see how many diets and um, different approaches they aim for you to lose this weight but the problem is people cannot continue with this so if you're thinking about long-term results are you going to be able to continue this style of um, this style of eating let's say so if we're talking diet you know it's, it comes down to eating so you don't even have to look into the weight the the workouts for weight loss it's just your eating habits with the diet so are you going to be able to continue eating with this term you know for the rest of your life or for let's just even just say for the next year because that's the thing lots of people for the next year can even carry on the way these diets approach things so if you could then maybe it would be a good idea for you to continue on but with these three day ones, you've got to go careful because if it's just a quick fix, you're going to end up really unhappy when all the weight piles pack on. But then the average person that goes on these crazy fad diets, they end up, statistics show that they end up putting on more pounds than when they first started the diet. So that's bad. I would stay clear and stay away from those. I'd keep calm, like it says here, and forget about the fad diets go more along the uh, long approach but you want to set your goals you want to have short term medium term and long term goals so in the short term the next 30 days what do you want to achieve medium term the next three to six months what do you want to achieve achieve the next 12 months to a few years where do you want your body to be what do you want to look at look like what do you want to feel like all of these things come in to big play and that'd be your driving force the reason why you want to get in shape Okay, the reason why you want to um, start to eat more clean. What's the reason why? If you write all these goals down and the reason why, you're going to have far better results. And it's going to, like I said, it's going to be the driving force for you to take yourself forward in the right direction. So here's really where to start. Um, the idea behind diets or nutrition, we could call it, or workouts, is to reduce your fat levels. Yeah, we want the number on the scale to go down. That's fine. That makes us feel better. That feeds our egos. But realistically what we want is to see and most of all you want to feel a difference it doesn't matter what the number says on the scale as long as you know if you feel right you know if you feel on top form and performance wise and that's why we must go by the way we feel and another good indicator is the size of the clothes that fit if we're really reducing down our waistline for example and our thighs and things like this you'll start to see your clothes are a lot more baggier and you have to you know get new clothes which always isn't a bad thing especially for our confidence so once you've got your nutrition right, especially first, then we can develop on towards your workouts. And, you know, once you get your nutrition on point, your weight will drop. But most of all, like I was saying, your energy levels will skyrocket, which would be great. You're going to have more energy. Like I said, your performance, you're going to perform better at work with your children. Overall, everyday life, which is huge. Now, you want to look into something called the high glycemic foods. And this is the one that spikes your blood sugar very fast. And after a while, you feel extremely lethargic. The total opposite to when you're uh, eating the right type of foods that give you the energy. Now, if you want to find out more of the foods, I've got you know a list of them and what ideas in my 7-Day Fat Loss Formula plan and on my newsletter. I give out lots of tips all the time, so make sure you're on that. But for this video here, also you want to control the hormone insulin because that's your fat storage hormone. It's going to take all those glucose, it's going to chuck it into your fat cells and it's going to lock the key. So unless you bring your insulin levels down, you're not going to be able to unlock it and use the other famous um, hormone called glucagon, which is the one that's going to help fight out that fat out of the fat cell. So eat your carbs. Carbohydrates are okay, but the thing is it's in rotation. Obviously you want clean carbohydrates, but if you're doing a workout, maybe you want to have carbohydrates after your workout 
to uh, replenish yourself and rejuvenate. So that's a when to eat carbs. If you're, you know, sat down at an office all day, you don't want to have a real big carb carbohydrate intake. You see, so it's just really rotating them smart, giving them a good rotation form, and you'll have good results with that. You'll feel better. You'll because if you're just going to stock up on loads of these unhealthy, high glycemic carb foods, you're going to feel really sluggish throughout the day, and you're going to binge eat, and it's going to be a big cycle. And that's how you know you put on the pounds. So the question of the day about the three-day diet. Look. If you just want a quick fix and you don't mind, you just want to have a go for it, look, it's your body, you can go for it. But I would really say go for the long-term approach. I'd start adopting some really good healthy eating habits, which, you know, within three days, you, if you've got a lot of weight to lose, you will start dropping some pounds just with smart habits, you see. And uh, start getting your workouts on point to build up your strength also and functionally fit and energy levels. You can't go wrong. Like I said, start writing down your reasons why you want to get in shape three steps for the goals your short term medium term long term goals and uh, you're going to be better off than like 95% of people that don't really have a clue what they're doing they're just firing in the dark what you want to do is get it structured out and then find a plan that works for you and stick to it because people don't stay to it they don't stick to it they get off track they fall off track and they don't come back on it and that's why every year they go on the fad diets and they put on the pounds again they need to try a new one and they wonder why they haven't got any good long term results and that's because it's not uh, the diet's not good enough to stick to they can't they so find something that's right for you stick to it and you're going to have great results in the long term so that's all for today if you want to help drop three to five pounds this week you can uh, pick up my fat loss formula it's going to give you some good healthy eating tips and also some uh, good body weight workout tips also for you to do at the home or to complement your workout maybe at the gym you're doing right now always appreciate your support with a likes up thumb button it helps spread my message out to the people my mission to, is to build up more subscribers on my youtube channel and to uh, help serve more people so if you subscribe to my channel always appreciate it and spread these videos around to help your friends and family always appreciate and i will see you all in the next video let's have a great day